was my first solo apartment. It was a rent-controlled one-bedroom in a devastatingly hip part of town. It had hardwood floors and high ceilings and bars on the windows, and I loved it so much. When my mom came to visit from Louisiana, she sat on the couch and she looked around and she said, what a nice little place you have here. I don't think you need me anymore. Now this was a big deal, not because my mom is harsh or judgy, but because we're best friends. I call her almost every day. She responds to about half of my Instagram stories and she Skypes me weekly so that we can watch Outlander together. <laughs> and that's great, but it can be tough to have a best friend who can't get over the urge to be a type A, get shit done helicopter parent who interrupts your hilarious story of your last date to ask you, did you remember to call your father for his birthday? So I thought, if I could take care of this apartment, be a mature adult, and just prove to her that I could thrive, she might be a little more friend and a little less mom. And she left and that went really well for a while. I was living my life and then one day my refrigerator broke. No big deal, this was just a challenge that comes with living a fiercely independent adult life. So I call my landlord and he replaces my fridge. The fridge I got wasn't really new, you wouldn't say. It had some shelves that were broken and some stains, but I could live with that. And then the next day, I went to go get some food and I noticed a roach running behind the fridge. Also, no big deal. I'm from Louisiana. We have prehistoric sized cockroaches there. Uh, I can deal with this. And then the next day, there were a few more. I could deal with that too. I got some roach motels. I put them around the room and they did nothing. So I emailed my landlord again. He sends an exterminator. And the exterminator also does nothing. Weeks turn to months. My apartment is full of cockroaches. They are appearing in the shower with me. They run across the walls in the middle of the day while I'm watching TV like they're not even afraid. I come home from work and I can smell them. This like sweet, musty odor. Yeah, you should smell it. It's bad. Um, and then the biting started. I started waking up with bites on my arms, hands, legs. They were itchy. I promise you roaches do bite. You can Google it. So I call my landlord again. He sends an exterminator again. The exterminator does nothing and I am going mad. I show up to work with a roach bite on my face that's swollen and about the size of a golf ball. It's kind of purple and I can't stop scratching at it. And I'm standing at the water cooler and one of my coworkers comes up to me and she says, uh, you need to go to the doctor, get that checked out and figure out your life. <laughs> so in the middle of the day, I leave work to get my roach bites checked out. I end up at an urgent care clinic feeling really small and really gross. And the doctor shows up and he looks really clean. Like cleaner than I've ever been in my whole life and definitely too clean to understand what it's like to have hundreds and hundreds of cockroaches living with you. And he looks at me and he smiles and he says, it's bed bugs. So I leave the urgent care clinic with a prescription for Benadryl and I do what any mature adult woman would do in this situation. I call my mom. <laughs> Mommy, he said it's bed bugs, but I know it's not bed bugs, it's the roaches. There are so many roaches, I paid a copay for Benadryl. And she says, calm down, why don't I come for a visit? No, mom, you're not fixing my problem. You don't even understand how to deal with these roaches. I'm not gonna clean your apartment. I won't do anything about the roaches. I just wanna hang out with you. We'll go to the movies, we'll get some drinks, take your mind off of it. So I relent and my mom flies back from Louisiana to DC to go to the movies with me. And she just happens, coincidentally, to bring a whole arsenal of roach killing, house cleaning, helicopter parenting supplies with her. And she bursts into my apartment, throws on some rubber gloves, and immediately heads to behind the fridge where the roaches have taken over. There are roaches flying across the room, hiding from my mother. <laughs> this is the beginning of two full of days and nights of cleaning, killing, squishing, reorganizing. 
And by the end of the second night, I can't take it anymore. I feel like I've been invaded first by hundreds and hundreds of cockroaches. I don't know if I made that clear. Um, and then second, my mother's maternal instinct and my beautiful independent apartment and tears are rolling down my cheeks like I'm a teenager again. And I'm wailing. Mom, you always do this. You always take over. Please, I'll clean it. When you go, just stop. I want to go to bed. And she looks at me, and she says, you go to bed. I'll finish it without you. And then she grabs a caulk gun and begins immediately sealing all of the floorboards. <laughs> And I, in retaliation, will know, and then I throw myself onto my bed dramatically and I fall asleep. <laughs> when I wake up, the apartment is completely clean and it smells good again. My mom and I go to breakfast. I go to work, she flies back home. On her way out, she had left uh, one last bug bomb on the counter, she said, I actually couldn't kill all of them, but I think if you just set off this bug bomb, you have a good, good shot of finishing them all off. She had waged my whole war for me, but left the victory for me. I did what she said. I set off the bug bomb, and I never saw another roach in my apartment again. I called her when it was over and told her the good news, and she said, great job. I bet you're glad to have your apartment all to yourself again. I am, I admitted, but I literally couldn't have done it without you. Thank you.